Hi, my name is Jonathan Wan. And I am Jean Heider. We both work at the Cancer Research UK Institute at the University of Cambridge. In this video, we're going to talk about our upcoming paper on personalised blood tests for cancer monitoring, where we describe a computational method called integration of variant reads. For patients with cancer, to monitor their disease, they are currently required to go to the hospital for regular scans, blood tests and clinical assessments. Much recent work has shown that in the blood samples from patients with cancer, there's circulating tumour DNA, which is cancer DNA in the bloodstream released by the cancer cells. This provides a potential opportunity for an alternative way of cancer monitoring. Circulating tumour DNA can be identified by DNA sequencing as it contains mutations or alterations in the DNA sequence. However, in patients with small tumours or after complete resection of their tumour using surgery, the concentration of cancer DNA in the blood can be low and can be challenging to detect. This is like detecting a needle in the haystack. In recent years, thanks to advances in technology, patients' tumour DNA are increasingly being sequenced to identify cancer mutations. In future, this may become a routine part of cancer care. From our point of view, by knowing a patient's mutation profile in advance, we can know exactly what to look for in their bloodstream in a targeted manner. We can now approach the haystack knowing exactly where to look for the needles or the mutations. We have developed a method for personalised sequencing for cancer, which we call the Integration of Variant Reads, or short INVAR. This involves two steps. We first sequence the patient's tumour and their plasma, and then we utilise computational methods to compare these two. The idea here is that we can now provide a lot of targets or needles that we can look for in the blood sample to find very, very low levels of tumor DNA in plasma. We have used this method to study blood samples from patients with both early and advanced stage cancers of a variety of cancer types, such as melanoma, lung, and breast cancer. We have found that by taking this kind of personalized sequencing approach, we can detect as little as one cancer mutation in over 1 million DNA molecules. Our INVA method is trained on each patient's tumor mutation profile individually, so the algorithm knows exactly what to look for in the blood. Detection of circulating tumor DNA to parts per million also represents an approximately tenfold greater sensitivity than previous methods. In our paper, we're suggesting that the combination of tumor and plasma sequencing offers a very sensitive approach for personalized cancer monitoring in the future especially considering that DNA sequencing becomes increasingly routine in cancer care. We also point out in our paper two possible future applications which we are particularly excited about. We hope that by creating more sensitive tests, we can detect residual disease to help determine if a patient might need adjuvant or additional treatment after surgery. The other possibility is to create tests to monitor cancer using low blood volumes, including from pinprick samples that patients might be able to collect themselves at home. We hope you enjoy reading more about our work.